right. We're here for another fight. Another fight with the concrete. Welcome, Concrete TV. <laughs> we got action on. Let's All right, go. we're here. We got Dill. He's in action already. <laughs> we're on Big Loz's job. Look at this, nice. Raft slab, a few beams. So we'll be putting concrete in for a while. It's 6.30 right now, so let's go. Boys are actually stripping the profiles. And I just got here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Concrete Ninja TV. Concrete TV, actually. Well, um, we're into it now. We just started pumping. We just been on the vibrator, getting concrete alive. We got some concrete in my eye already. Didn't have my sunglasses on. <laughs> but we've got some big beams in this, so we have to um, fill it up. We've got Alex here as well. I'll show you the beams. It's pretty big. I'm gonna fill all this area up. Pull it, fill up all in here. Look how deep it is. What? Then, yeah. Once you fill all the concrete in the beams, then we can start doing the floor. Just one step down. Two showers. Oh, one step down down there as well. All good. All right, it's 17 past seven. We nearly got all the beams in. We're getting in now. A lot of excess concrete. Because the beams are so deep. But that's the difference between a raft slab and a whopper pod. A whopper pod, you would use less concrete. And a um, raft slab, you would use a lot more. I think Lawrence was saying this should only, if it was a Waffle pod, it would have only used 60 cubic meters of concrete. This is going to use like over 100 cubic meters of concrete. So you can tell the difference in price. All right, it's five minutes to eight. We'll start pouring this about 7.30. Probably took us a half an hour for this little video. There's lots of different beams in there, so the mesh is moving around on us and stuff. This is why we can't use a vibrated screen. Imagine we use a vibrated screen, it'll just move all the concrete that all the concrete will blow at the bottoms and we have to vibrate as we go as it is so that's why we don't use vibrating screens on our slabs in Australia especially when we're doing beams and stuff anything we mesh in it is pretty hard the way we do it you touch that mess with a vibrator and it's already done it would all just drop and fall so yeah Anyway, we'll get back into it. I just screwed all that bit, so. I'm a bit tired, but I'm all right. We've got a long way to go. It is nine o'clock. We've got a fair bit more in now. We passed halfway on the house. Fill up some more beams, and we can do the rest of the floor. And we can do these patios. So we probably won't be finished putting it in until like 10, 30, 11. Another two hours yet. Oh, I reckon. It's taken two and a half hours so far to do this. Right, we'll get there, but. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day. No fucking clouds. Blue bird day. It's quarter to ten. And we're about to put this last bit in now. Just put all the beams in at the back there. Cleaned all this step down up. Ready for concrete. Lance and the boys straighten that timber up. Gonna slap through your wet still, so it's all good. All right, we're gonna time check. It's 10.30 and we've got the house in. And we've got the patio to go now. This patio here and that little patio at the front. And we're done. Good times. Good, good times. And I see that a few of you guys are asking where Simon is. Simon's been on holiday for a while. I'm gonna go work for him very soon, so you will see him again. But um, yeah, he's just having a break, he's doing other stuff, so. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna job on tomorrow, but I'm actually working for Lawrence tomorrow, so I can't go and help him. But you will see him soon, don't worry. He's coming back. All right, it's 11 o'clock. And I just put the front patio, we still got this little one to go. I just went around, all the way around here. Trail, trout it all up. Lawrence just did with a helicopter one so far. I just went around the edges and trout all the edges. They look beautiful. I'm gonna have to hit it one more time. And it should be 
done. The slab should go off pretty quick. We should have it done by one o'clock, the top slab, I reckon. The way we're going, two hours time. And the bottom one. And we just got a strip. So we'll probably be finished about two o'clock, I reckon. But, um, yeah. So far, going really good. Beautiful, just flat trout. Didn't lift my trout not once. Just keep it flat, really flat. Flat blades, flat trout. Alright, it's 11.25 now. 11.25. And we finally got some concrete. The top part of the slab's only done. Hey Al. What? Yep. The top part's only done. I have a helicopter and a stick trout. It should be done all the way up to these pipes, I reckon. Alright, we'll do this little bit now. Probably go on the big bits. Come all the way back. Alright. Not too much action today, guys. This video ain't going to be that long today. I've got fuck all thumbs up. So, if you don't give me a thumbs up, I won't fucking make a long video. I'll make a deal with you. Give me a thumbs up and I'll give you a fucking a longer video. And tell you some more information. This is fucking high quality information you're getting here, eh, mate? <laughs> no, anyway, I ain't got a fuck really, but... You don't, import, you don't encourage me to make more videos, I probably won't make more videos. Anyway, come on. All right, it's 12 o'clock, and um, Cardio's done. Screw that off with the 12 footer. All this part of the house is done up here. Mick, edge, Mick used the stick trail all the way around the edges, done the edges. So do the edges down the bottom there, and stick trail the bottom part, and stick trail this patio. We got lots of stripping to do. God damn. It's 20 to 2 and the slab is virtually nearly done. And Christine has come and bring us donuts. Yee. Thanks, Christine. From the event pillow. Nice donuts or what? Ah, lovely. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she bring us a whole tray. Beautiful donuts. Yeah, girl. Just what we needed right at the end. A little bit of energy. Good stuff, Lawrence. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. Very nice. Well, whatever's left, you take home, though. <laughs> right. We're just going to strip this part here. Bit over there. And we're done. Hey. hey. Where'd you go? Ten past two, and we just got the patio to strip, and that's about it. I'm feeling a bit sick in the guts right now, so I'm sitting down for a minute. I need to go to the toilet, I think. <laughs> End up being too hard, too quick. I'm here today. Anyway, we're nearly finished though. That's the end of the video, I reckon. If this doesn't get 500 thumbs up, you won't see another video for months. Come on. How many dudes have made money off me learning shit for free? All I ask is a thumbs up. Fucking hell. Thanks for all the guys that do give us a thumbs up every time. There is a few of you guys. At least a hundred of you. <laughs> anyway, enough ranting. Ah, oh, look at that pile of dirt. That's what you'll be looking at. Okay, it's 2.30 and all the boxing is off. The slab is done. Are you water wiping it, Lars? Yeah. Yep, we'll get that. Alright, Lawrence is giving the garage the last hit. So on these slabs, the rest of the house is going to be tiled and carpeted. And just the garage here is the only thing that's going to be seen and not covered up. So we helicopter it until as hard as we can. But we don't want it blackened because it can be pretty slippery. But then some people like it blackened. So, 
It just depends on the what the owner wants. Like you all know, there's lots of different styles of concreting. Lawrence is going to hit it once. The helicopter. Leave that little bit of cream on there, a little bit of fur, and then he's going to water wipe it. Right, that's it with the helicopter. Oh. Alright, Blaine's got a water wipe. He's going to put his fongs on. It's actually nice working with old dudes. Like, you know, I always love working with your dad, Lawrence. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, they just they know what they're doing. It's easy. Like, they, you know, everyone does their bit and they fucking work hard too, they can't. Beautiful. A little, little tiny bit of water. It's like you're painting the concrete. The rest of the floor is going to get tiled, isn't it? This part. Looks, looks good, Lars, on the camera. Looks really good on the camera. <laughs> I'm thinking I might have to start a fans only page. And these guys can pay for the questions you ask me. I give it away for free on here all the time. Let's suss that out. Do you guys know what fans only page is? Send it a little bit. I'll move around the side here so you don't have to look at Lawrence's ass. I've been trying to do. I don't know how to say that actually. <laughs> don't worry. I'll tell Lawrence later. <laughs> hey. Beautiful. Pack some of the tools away. <laughs> and we're done. Nice work, Lawrence. Thank you. Another day. Another house. Yep. They say that we're not very smart, us concretes, but we build the foundation of all the houses, so we fucking must be pretty smart. <laughs> Without us, you're fucked. That's right. <laughs> Everyone has an easy time after we come in. We've got a nice flat floor to build on. We get a the shit ground, we have to dig it all up and flatten it all out, put fucking beams in it. It's crazy. Alright, we'll see you at the end. Alright, we're done. Time to go home. Till the next day. Boys are just packing the last bit up.
I'm out of here. Bye, boys. See ya. I'm leaving ya. To do the rest. Say eggs. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, no. Yes, there is. Put my ass back in. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's the end of my day. Sorry I didn't show you too much, but like I said, give us some thumbs up. Start sharing my videos. Leave some comments. And I will do more. If you don't do more, I'm not doing more. Like I said, I, am, I don't make fuck all. I make probably $10 a video and it takes me like sometimes three hours to make these videos after work. All my time that I have after work, I'm gonna go and make these videos. And then I go and try to train for an hour and sometimes I train at like seven, eight o'clock at night. And then I don't go to bed till like 12 o'clock at night sometimes. I'm gonna get up at 4.30, 5 o'clock. So I can answer all your questions and stuff. I stay awake and answer a lot of people's questions. But I'm starting to realize it's probably not worth it for me to do that. So. You guys, help, you guys help me and I will help you. But if you don't help me, sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. I've got another job, so we'll see what you do with this video. Bye bye.